I write in a forest. I go there to listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in 2015 in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong commitment and journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. I say it's a calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 336, October 2nd, 2022, the week of Hurricane Ian. Although this tiny forest didn't take a full head-on punch, the tropical side of Ian did its fair share of ripping leaves off the trees and dropping the weak limbs to the anxious, awaiting ground below, waiting to devour each and every limb. The days after Ian, I stood on the forest floor, looking upward at the top of the trees, assessing all things connected. For in life, the stories of past storms tend to unearth in future times of struggle and change. I can't predict which tree might be the next to fall to the earth. After a moment of nature taking its toll, I'm able to study areas that may invite a different experience at a later time. Our personal lives are no different. How we act and react in public gatherings is no different than trees in a forest. It doesn't have to be on a mountainside, and you don't have to be at a festival. The stories that made you can physically break you. The stories that made you can physically break you. One great example of that is how we like to grip what we think we should have become, and we never let it go. And everything that we evolve into after that dream falling apart was poisoned because the stories that we carried with us broke us. We wouldn't officially turn ourselves free into a newer field. You know, we've always heard those stories where they they take a horse or a bull or even a dog and they set them free in an open field, a new field, where they can just kind of just take it easy in life. But we don't want to be that generation of people where when we get older, it's not that we want to take it easy. We just want to be free. But the strangest thing about being free as you get older is that it opens up your life, yes. But then you crowd it up with little things. And now you're back to where you once were. The stress of having to keep up. The stories that break us. That was just one example, but what about other things in your life? What is it that you are holding on to in your heart that refuses to let you become who you need to evolve into? I'm always reminded of Yoda in Star Wars, an ancient man with so many wise lessons in life. It didn't come to him being somebody who serves food at a restaurant. He didn't become wise in his generations because he chose to be, well, I'm going to be a fighter and I'm going to stay a fighter, and I'm always going to be a fighter. It's like broadcasting. I always call myself a broadcaster of 44 years, but broadcasting is not podcasting. Yet my heart is telling me, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're still broadcasting. No. Let it go. Let it go. What are the labels that you're carrying with you that are costing you time? It's breaking you. Have the talk with yourself. Ask the question, question the answers. And then set yourself free. Start living your life. Stop living your past. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.